All right, the final steps, putting everything together. So, got, I'm really happy with how, I'm, how it's strung. We're all good to go there. Um, notice I've got tails on all the strings. Might be tempting to uh, trim those off there. Don't do it. You might wind up in a situation where one of those comes undone just a few minutes before the concert and you don't have extra string handy. This is gonna be the only thing you have to restring it with. You're gonna want that extra length, especially if it starts to fray, you're gonna have to trim it off a little bit and make this a little bit shorter. So leave yourself a decent sized tail on there. And then remember we had a, another lubricant, right? The rotor oil. Here's how we're gonna use that. Now, this is going to go through the slides right here. Do your best to drop it down without hitting the sides because you want to drag as little crud and slide grease and stuff like that down into the rotor as possible. So we're going to let that work its way down there. slides back in so pretty much anytime they come out a little bit of slide grease is always going to be nice there's a common misconception that putting the slides in without pressing the valve um, is bad for it it's not it's not actually bad for it you're never going to hurt it doing that that but um, it does make it just a little bit easier because it relieves the pressure. So especially if it's not fit perfectly, can make it easier to put the slide back in. So there is a good reason to push that. It's an old wives' tale though that um, it's uh, that that's going to hurt the valve. That will never hurt the valve in a million years. Now we're going to remember, right? Um, first uh, slide is always going to be longer than the third slide. Everything's still moving. Great. And last but not least, we got to play test this thing, right? Make sure we put the uh, rotors all back in properly. If I can play it, we know it works.